So all of us know that as we age, we can have some memory impairments. So the key questions would be, how much of memory impairment is to be considered more than normal? How much of memory impairment is significant enough to be considered a symptom of mind dementia? And how hard should one look for these subtle abnormalities in other areas? And how do we know whether these ch changes are normal aging or worse? So, we will tackle it one by one. When it comes to normal aging and dementia, normal age person, though will have some memory disturbance, will be able to carry on his activities of daily living, which is ADL. Whereas in dementia, they become more dependent. A normal elderly will complain of memory loss, but would be able to give details regarding incidents where he has forgotten. He will say, I kept my checkbook in the locker, but then I forgot where I put the keys, then I had to take two days to find out and then I could retrieve back my checkbook. So that is normal memory loss, which, where they are able to get it back later. Whereas in dementia, the complaints of memory loss may or may not be there. They may not be aware of their uh, memory loss. They will be unable to recall instances where memory loss was noticed by others and told to them. And whereas a normal person would be more worried about his uh, memory, whereas demented may or may not worry much. It is more the family members who are concerned with this memory decline. And all of us do have some word finding difficulties. That is much more so as in a demented person. Normal man will go out and should be able to get back to his familiar home in a familiar way. Though it may take some uh, time, especially when it is in the evening. And now, ma majority of the buildings are changing. It may be a little more difficult to find the way back because your familiarity with the buildings is no longer there. Your mental image has changed. Whereas in dementia, they may get lost uh, in familiar territory also. Sometimes what happens, they do not know how to go from the bedroom to the toilet. And they may pass uh, urine and motion in the thing in the living room or in the dining room. So they get lost even in a very familiar atmosphere. And uh, operating common appliances like a microwave or cell phone will be a little longer in a normal aging person. It may take some time to uh, learn it. Whereas in dementia, it will be very difficult to do it. And interpersonal skills will be generally be maintained in normal aging. Though the elderly become a little cranky, whereas in dementia they lose interest and then they many times can be just isolated or sit silently because they do not want to interact and they can have inappropriate social behaviors like exposing themselves or uh, what should I say beating others unnecessarily. When we take this mini mental status examination otherwise known as MMSC that takes the education and culture into account and then that is usually normal. But now this is not, cannot be used without payment because this has become a paid site. Mini mental status examination is often abnormal in uh, dementia that helps us also to classify it as mild, moderate and severe. So as I said, if you find these positive things in any areas generally indicate that there is a need for the assessment, the presence of dementia. Comes to diagnostic criteria for dementia, this is a DSM-5 criteria. As I said, memory impairment is the main one which is an impairment to learn new skills or uh, information and recall information is already present. It is associated with uh, either difficulty in speaking or uh, difficulty in carrying out activities or difficulty in planning and organizing and sequencing work. And this is so much so that it affects the social as well as the occupational functioning. And these should not be occurring in the presence of delirium and should not be because of other medical or psychiatric conditions. So all this will have to be fulfilled when you, before you call it dementia. <laughs>